it's important to fully understand the question before writing your response. In this video, I'm going to give some suggestions on how to approach breaking down nine mark questions and details on the command words that are regularly used. When you start working on your nine mark responses, it's important to ensure that you fully understand the question. I often see pupils rush this process or maybe just get the gist of the question, but then not fully elaborate during their answer. Before we look at breaking down the questions, here are the main command words used throughout AQA GCSE geography papers. Identify, state or name want you to find or give a simple word. Identify the river landform in figure 12. Define should get you to state or describe the exact meaning. Define the term natural increase. Calculate wants you to work out. Calculate the mean value of data presented in table 3. Label asks you to write or sketch on a map or diagram. Label 3 features of this meander. Draw wants you to sketch or draw a line. Draw a line of best fit for this data. Compare wants you to look at the similarities and differences. Compare the two earthquake case studies in the figure above. Describe, say what it is like. Describe the four main processes of coastal erosion. Explain wants you to give reasons why or how. Explain how animals have adapted to polar environments. Suggest wants you to present a possible case of how or why something might occur. Suggest two methods for how countries could reduce the development gap. Examine wants you to look for reasons for plus a judgment. Examine the challenges presented in a LIC or NEE city you have studied. To what extent wants you to show how much do you agree or disagree with the statement? To what extent do you agree with the above statement? Discuss methods of energy production in your response. Assess wants you to show which is the most or least important. Assess several methods to reduce the development gap. Evaluate wants you to provide a judgment on the most or least effective. Evaluate the quality of life of people living in a LIC or NEE country you have studied. Refer to developments that have impacted their standard of living. Discuss wants you to uh, provide an overview of a topic including approaches or opinions. Discuss various causes of deforestation in tropical rainforests around the world. Justify questions want you to provide reasons why you support an opinion or decision. Justify why there needs to be a range of management strategies when tackling climate change. Reference mitigation and adaption strategies. Now, before we look at the guidance of how to break down the exam questions, be sure to go take a look at my nine marker resources to accompany this series. I've written four exam questions that come along with detailed marking criteria, as well as model answers for you to reflect on. Planning worksheets and command word posters are also included. Here are two examples of how you can break down the exam questions to help plan your response. In this first question, it begins with a quote. This should set the scene for the topic. This refers to the challenge of energy production and highlights two main issues. The production of greenhouse gases and that people around the world do not have access to electricity. This signposts the main points to include. To what extent indicates that you need to offer an opinion? Do you agree or disagree? What are your thoughts? Discuss the methods of energy production then refers to the different ways we produce electricity. This is where the examiner will want you to demonstrate your knowledge on the subject of energy production. What are the methods of energy production, burning fossil fuels or sustainable energy? This next question is an evaluate question. This wants you to provide a judgment on what has happened to the quality of life of people in this country. You should be aware of how we can measure quality of life and the development indicators that provide evidence of this. When it refers to an LIC or NEE country you've studied, it is wanting you to use specific information on a case study you have used in class. This is where a lot of pupils drop marks by not including enough specialist knowledge on their case study country. The last part of referring to developments is meaning you need to highlight what and how they have changed or improved. I would strongly suggest you take a highlighter in the exam room with you so you can highlight the main keywords in each six or nine mark question. This will help you plan your response. Using case studies is important when answering these questions, so click on the next video to find out how you can improve your use of case studies to pick up more marks.